Hey guys, afternoon. Um, just thought I'd start off today with a bit of training with Wolfie. Uh, at the moment, uh, Josh is down at his uh, massage school uh, for the day, just catching up on some things before he graduates. So I've got Wolfie here with me. Say hello, Wolf. He's all uh, ready to go. Uh, what we're going to do, um, back on Tuesday, uh, after we had that mini golf session, uh, Wolfie had a bit of a uh, training session uh, with the trainer, with the seeing eye dog trainer. Because he is a bit uh, reactional yeah, um, around other dogs, he does tend to uh, get uh, overly excited. So we're just getting him some training in before the big uh, bridge to Brisbane walk on Sunday. So he's going to be able to walk around other dogs without going bonkers. So we'll see how we go, see if there's any dogs out here. There doesn't seem to be any at the moment, but we'll see how we go. So we'll take you along with us and we'll show you what, uh, what he needs to do. Now first thing is first, as you can see, uh, a little bit, he's modelling that for us, that he's got a different harness on. This is called a sensible harness or a, a uh, no pull harness and this will stop him from pulling towards other dogs. So he won't get away quite as much as what he used to. So we're going to take Wolfie for a bit of a walk and see if we come across any dogs. So we've got some treats in a little pouch. Uh, and that will be, it's full of chicken. Uh, so he knows he's got chicken as a treat. So we're going to go for a walk along, take him for a walk, and hopefully get some training in as well. So come along with us as we go for this long walk. We're at the Broad Water in Southport. And uh, yeah, let's go. And as you can see by the harness here, see the way it's strapped around him? And he's, instead of attaching it to his collar at the front, which is his strongest muscle, it's actually at the front, so we have a bit more control over him. Sorry for the awkward direction, folks. But I'm kind of doing this single-handedly, as you can tell. So I'll just pop that back into the pouch. Ah, and away we go. Okay, boss. Let's go. Come on, boy. Let's go. Hey bud, good boy. Stop! Sit! Wait. Touch! Good boy. Okay. Okay, we've stopped uh, halfway through just to give uh, Wolfie here some water. So we're going to do just that. Hey, bud, you want some water? Hey, you want some water? Oh, you can say hello. Now I've just got to figure out how to do this.
Oh, that's just hopeless, isn't it? Hey, eh? it's just hopeless, isn't it? That's not gonna work, is it, boy? Hey, eh? I didn't bring instructions, did I? Is that good? Yeah, dribble all over the place. Good. You want to drink out of the bottle? <laughs> yep, you would. Is that better, drinking out of the bottle, huh? You get more of it, huh? Is that what it is? <laughs> yes, dribble all over me. May as well just feed you for the, for, directly from the... Yeah. There you go. Want some more? Coffee? Water? Not interested, are you? No. I don't think you're interested, boy, are you? Okay. Okay. We'll continue on. Oh, look at the beach, woof. Look at the beach. Nice day for it. Boy, nice day for a walk. Yep. Okay. Are you gonna have a doggy tantrum, Wolfie? Hey? Eh? You're gonna keep going. I know you want to keep going the opposite direction, but there's only so far you can go. Come on, I'll come down this way. Hey? Come on. You just don't want to keep. You don't want to go back the way you came, huh? You can't go walking that with one direction forever, buddy. Yeah. Someday you've got to go back. <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you want some motivation, do you? All right. Get you a bit of motivation. Hey. Okay. okay, sit. Touch. Good boy. Nice bit of chicken. Touch. Good boy. Okay. Come on in. Where we go? You got your mojo back. And you got your mojo back. Come on. Okay. Stop. Sit. Hey, sit. Wait. Touch. Good boy. Is it good? That's good. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Come on. Walkie time. Well, we had our first dog encounter. He didn't do too bad. Um, I couldn't film it because it was a bit too quick and a bit hectic. But um, he was able to keep my attention, uh, his attention on me, I should say, uh, for most of the time. But when the, got, the dog got up rather close, and it was a small dog as well, so he did pretty well considering. Um, but once, once the dog passed, he did, he did lunge, but not too bad, thankfully, and I was able to regain his attention with some chicken. So I uh, signed off just a second ago. We had a uh, bulldog go past. Uh, well, actually, we went past a bulldog, um, and he didn't 
really well. He didn't bite, didn't pull, nothing. And he probably was, I was running out of chicken. So a little backup with chicken and we'll see what happens next. Okay, we've uh, just reached the other end of uh, the broad water. Uh, overall, I think Wolfie did pretty well uh, with his training so far. He's had a good walk, uh, which uh, I think he's pretty happy with. What do you think? Hey, Wolf? You pretty happy? You're happy, aren't you? Look at that face. Yeah, I'm going to head home and start packing uh, for the weekend because we're going to go up to Brisbane tomorrow and. Um, stay at Mercure, uh, in near Roma Street and uh, prepare for uh, the bridge to Brisbane the next morning. So uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how we pack Wolfie and what we're planning to pack for ourselves for the weekend. So if you're not sure if you haven't done the bridge to Brisbane before and you're not sure what to pack or anything like that, especially if you've got an assistance dog. Um, we'll show you what we do. Um, this is the first time that we're taking Wolfie up. Uh, previously we had our old dog Tip. Uh, we took twice and he thoroughly enjoyed himself. So uh, this will be the first time for Wolfie. And we'll see, because he goes a, a bit bonkers, and what I mean by bonkers is that he will lunge and pull. Um, sometimes he'll bark but not all that much or, or growl um, but because he's really exuberant he's very excitable and uh, a lot of different smells different scents different dogs uh, tend to um, over excite him and that's what the behavior becomes especially with uh, small dogs so all in all I think he's progressing pretty well uh, with his uh, training since Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesday he was introduced to the seeing eye dog called Boo. Uh, he was a big chocolate lab, he was nine years of age. He was really cute. Uh, so we were training with him uh, for Wolfie and he did pretty well uh, with Josh. Uh, he responded to Josh really well. Um, with the small dogs it can get a little too excitable for Wolf, uh, uh, maybe a little too much too soon but overall I think he responded really well today. Uh, so we'll uh, head home now and I'll show you uh, what we pack. Josh is back from school. Yep, hey guys. Yep, had a had a really good day, a bit eventful this afternoon, but yeah, it was quite quite good. So we're gonna just sign off uh for tonight uh on today's vlog and uh we'll be filming uh, this weekend so you'll uh see what we pack for our backpacks and other bits and pieces that we I haven't been able to show you now. Um, and um, we'll come take you along with us on uh, the Bridge to Brisbane as well on Sunday morning. Yeah. So look out for those vlogs. But until next time, have, have a, a awesome day. day.